Mayor Adams confident Hoko will support migrants in New York City despite speech snub. Mayor Eric Adams on Wednesday expressed confidence that Governor Kathy Hoko will give the Big Apple sufficient help with managing the migrant crisis in 2024 on the heels of the governor barely mentoring the influx in, the, in her state of the state address Tuesday. During the hour-long January 9th speech where the governor laid out her policy agenda for the coming year, she only once mentioned the migrant influx, which has seen over 160,000 newcomers flow into the five boroughs over nearly two years. She only brought up the crisis to note that she would detail how she plans to address it during her executive budget rollout next week. The policy book that accompanied, accompanied the governor's speech did not include any initiatives to manage the crisis, which has consumed much of the mayor's attention and placed tremendous strain on the city's finances. Migrants were only mentioned in Hochul's policy book when describing a program designed to help foreign student interpreters launch startup business in effort that appeared unconnected to the crisis. Instead, her speech and policy platform focused on issues like combating retail theft, closing unlicensed cannabis shops, and boasting and boosting housing production. Yet the mayor said his team has been having great conversations with the governors about migrant aid when discussing the topic on the Capitol Press Room radio show January 10. <clears throat> we had some great conversations with her and I'm looking forward to a budget announcement, Adams said. When asked what specific amount of state dollars Adams want, wants Hoko to commit in her spending plan, he declined to give a figure. Instead, he said the details are being hashed out by his budget director, Jaquez Jiha, and the governor's budget team. I'm going to let them handle that, Adams said. I don't want to do anything to interfere with those negotiations and he knows the exact dollar amounts we need. We're going to present that to the governor's people. Jihad's, Jihad's office has estimated providing shelter and other services to new arrivals could cost the city as much as $10 billion by next summer, with the city having already spent $3.5 billion on the influx. The massive projected price tag is in large part due to the city having to take care of a seemingly endless stream of migrants without significant help from the federal and state governments. However, Adams defended Hoko, saying she has provided a great deal of support thus far in the form of over $1 billion in reimbursements for shelter costs and funding the opening of three massive shelters in the city. We should be clear, she has been a partner. She has been to our national leaders, including the White House. She has assisted in opening the humanitarian relief centers on Randall's Island at the Cremor facility, as well as out at Floyd Bennett Field. And she has allocated over $1 billion to this issue, he said, referring to the three mega shelters Hoku has helped stand up. That's all I have to say for this video. 
Have a great weekend and I will be making more videos within 10 days. I'm going to take a break from making videos on all social media platforms. Have a great day.